I know. What were we thinking? Who rides in a mask? I did. Masks that we can throw them in your face. Welcome to today. We're headed to riding lessons. You guys know we missed our private lesson earlier in the week because of the weather. The weather has been killing us, you guys. It's been super cold. It's been killing our horses. They've been having sore feet from standing in the snow. So uh, um, we've had to switch everything around. That's what you do when you're a horse owner. You have to learn to be versatile. Also need to pack carrots everywhere you go. Carrots is where it's at. Are you guys almost ready? Okay. You know it's cold when Sam drives me down to the barn. But I'm not gonna complain. Never complain when somebody offers to drive you. In yesterday's video, I promised you guys a surprise, an exciting thing, and you guys know that we've been working on some stuff, and it's taken us so long to iron out all the details and figure everything out. Contrary to popular belief, we actually do take a lot of your opinions in stride. We might not always be really vocal about it, but I always read your comments and let them process. I'm a processor. I have to think about things and figure them out before I can figure them out. Oh, <laughs> well, hello, princess. So before we get into that, um, we're gonna let our horses in before we leave because it's actually afternoon. I guess I've been pooping in the arena. Oh, Sam does never clean you, but he can't because you don't let him, so I understand. We're getting ready to go. You guys saw yesterday that our horses have been having sore feet because of the cold. We're not gonna be back until it's like a little bit laid out and I don't want them out there that long. So, these girls are coming in and feeling better already. There's baby one. Baby two. <laughs> baby three, hello baby. They're like, wait a minute, why are we going in so early? They're so confused. Yeah, there's no grain. And then there's no grain. Well, it looks like I'm not going in if there's no grain. <laughs> They're all mad. So we don't want to get into a position where we leave and come back late from lessons and it's dark and really cold. And once that temperature drops, our horses get really cold. And right or wrong, I don't know. I feel like we need to do whatever we can to keep them comfortable. We need more cat food. <laughs> Anyways, so. So today is the day that we're gonna tell you guys our decision about Gray Finn. And we're gonna do two separate videos here. Today's video will be explaining to you the whole decision process, hopefully, and we're gonna do a live video so that if you guys have any further questions, you can ask us, because we want you guys to support our decision and we want you guys to understand our decision. More than anything, we want you guys to understand our decision. Support our decision if you want to and if you can't, that's okay too. Just know that we're making the best decision that we can based on the information that we have right now for our family. And if anything ever changes, then we'll change our, our choices. We got the kids in the back, we're headed for riding. I have to put my hand sanitizer in it. Who are you riding? Finn. Who are you okay. riding? Yeah, so the other day, Brandon told Gabby she could ride his new pony. He's got a new pony. And some of you guys think that Finn is a lesson horse. Gray Finn. Gray Finn is not a lesson horse, you guys. Nobody else has ridden him besides Brandon and Gabby. That's it. Nobody else has ever ridden him. And I don't think anybody else will ride him. But he has been so good. Like, he, when she first started riding him, and he's first started getting, like, a lot of the things that he's been doing recently are kind of new to him. He's never been, like, ridden with a bunch of other lesson kids before, and he's really taken to it and loves having other horses in there with him. He's still the fastest one in there, though. Is he the fastest? Yeah. Um, For some reason. He doesn't have the biggest stride, but he's the um, fastest. Um, so I pass all of them. I go to the inside. I love the look of this box. Yeah, so that's how... Yeah. Okay. It's like the good color that actually goes with the sure. black. Yeah, so that is what our family is like. We just randomly talk about stuff and we don't even follow the same conversation. That's what homeschooling does to you. It just teaches you to just be yourself. Do you guys want to tour what's inside my backpack? Yes, we do. We want to tour okay, what's inside so your backpack. A sock. A sock. And there's another sock. And another sock. Do you have there's socks on? Box. She throws her dirty socks in here. Yeah. These are clean. Yeah. Is it all fidget, Sophie? Make it snappy, no. sister. There's a bunch of these. There's elastics. There's markers. There's this thing. 
there's lipsticks. Mine says Tokyo. How? Yeah. When's the last time you wore lipstick, Sophie? Mm, a couple months ago. And then in here is mochis and small fidgets. Mochis and small, mochis and small fidgets. Just what you carry in your backpack and your purse. That's what homeschool exactly. kids carry in their backpacks and their purse. Not books, not pencils, not markers. They she carry toys. Markers. Oh, she does carry markers. Sorry. Do you have paper in there? No, no paper. She's a graffiti artist. If inspiration strikes her anywhere she is, she needs to make sure she has markers available for her, even though she has no place to write it down. Okay, so if I want to use markers and I have no paper, I just draw myself. Oh. Yeah, but markers will not work on the rig. That is not allowed, though. You're not allowed to draw on yourself. Yeah, that's what I drew on her once. So, uh, you yeah, guys I filmed it. Yeah, Sophie, Gabby drew on here. So uh, you guys should know that it has been, we haven't ridden our horse, it's no, Saturday. No, We haven't been you, there since it Wednesday. It was funny because it was like 4 a.m. And Sophie was like, yeah, well, because Kaylee and I were both kind of tired. She was like, well, looks like I'm going to stay up uh, later than you both. No. Because you are going to fall asleep. I heard her and Kaylee heard her say it. And then like two seconds later, she fell asleep. I said I'm probably going to be able to stay up as long as you guys do. <laughs> One second later, passed out on the couch. And then we drew on her at 4.30. Yeah, I still need to draw on you. Ooh. Revenge is coming, guys. Revenge is coming. No. Have you ever been someone that's been drawn on at a party or a sleepover? Or have I've you been ever been the person to draw on people? Yeah, so I went inside. Well. probably a child in the back. I <laughs> I went in the grocery store to get money from the bank machine and when I came out there's two black cars one in front of the other so I just walked to the one that I thought was ours and wasn't even paying attention opened the door and it was this and it was the wrong car and it was as messy as our it literally took me a few minutes to figure out that that was not our car yeah you sit in the car no I just opened the door <laughs> you saw me and you guys didn't see me I didn't I saw you come out but then I thought you were going around <laughs> Like, your mom just went in the wrong <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, no, my brain is not working today. No, remember how I told you I'm smarter than you? Yeah, you're smarter than me? Yeah. Yeah. Every 14 year old thinks they're smarter than me. Mom, where you gotta Every go? Every 51 year old man yeah. thinks they're smarter than me, too. What? Um, if you. Wait, what man? <laughs> Chino's at the water. You know how you can tell Chino's at the water? Because Finn's like, oh God, Chino, watch out, they're coming. What, what did you do? What did they do? What Hi. <laughs> See, I told you. Mom, the bucket is on the ground. Yeah, Brandon feeds Chino on the ground so he doesn't have to, because it's better for horses. Better for horses to eat on the ground. Wow, they're making a mess now, pooping everywhere. Hi, handsome. You coming? He's like, no, I'm not coming, but he looks good. Come on, Vinny. Yeah, it's really cold out, you guys. Chino's a cow watcher. He likes to watch the cows. Finn likes to eat. Can you guys see that? I, my glasses are all fogged up and I see rainbows around the lights. All right. I always like to look at the arena and see what's new. Nothing oh, no, new. Pylons. Pylons, that's it. Pylons are new. So Gina has a tiny little abscess. Sophie's riding Finn. And Gabby's riding Finn. We're going to be going live later today. So you guys mark down any questions that you have that you want answered and we'll try and whoa just tripped over a pole and we'll try and answer them because i want you guys to to know what's happening like some people think he's too much horse for her and some people think that i don't even know what everybody else thinks but we have a solution for everything like she's going to lease him and we have the entire show season mapped out what they're what it's gonna look like for her and for Chino and for Grayfin and for our trainer. And you guys should know that our trainer is going to play an integral role in the whole entire thing. Meaning that even though Gabby will be allowed to ride him and play with him and bond with him, our trainer, our trainer is going to oversee 
all of their growth together and so it won't be me trying to figure it out if that makes sense but anyway you got a question comment down below or join our live and we'll try and figure it out you're joking me I asked her do you have your boots here that'll be a sad day if she doesn't get to ride from her own dumbness I have to pee so bad but there are times when you have to like weigh the consequence of they're not in there <laughs> that's my girl so the truth is okay well so Brandon are you okay with that her just walking and maybe a little bit of truck and treading like you want her to slow down and learn she forgot her boots I asked her as she got in the car Sophie do you have your boots in there you looked in where? The house. No, they're on the shelf now because I don't want them laying in the middle of the living room. How did you not know that you brought them home? I don't know. You, know what? you leave them here, and that's the whole point. Yeah, boots stay here from now on. All right, but I love Gabby. I like Sophie's solution here. She forgot her boots. Good. Yeah, it's good. Brendan's gonna t like. He wants her to practice walking and balancing and no stirrups anyway so yeah. she suggests good job <laughs> brandon's like yes you forgot your boots Woohoo! good job sophie go out there and just do your best i'm proud of you for making the right choice that's a good i know wait until you have glasses gabby's down there with the saddle in her arms what are you doing why is not he no you'll probably never have glasses so that is one thing that you guys should know is that we've decided like we're doing a six month lease and then we have the option to buy him at the end of six months if it's still going well and if she's still in love with him which i can't imagine or not if we want to lease him for another six months after the six months is that an option yes so renew everything that's there. Yeah. So we can renew our lease with him after six months. Six months will take us to the end of July. So midway through show season. <laughs> so pretty good Perfect chance. <laughs> pretty good chance that we are either going to buy him at the end of six months or release him because we'll be in the middle of show season. Another thing is, is that um, Brandon is going to continue to ride him like a trainer ride and keep him in shape and keep him balanced and keep him all the things that he needs to be. And for show season, we have an entire plan for show season. So Brandon will probably show him, right? Yes. And Gabby will show him, but not in something like crazy jumping. It'll be something like equitation or something, right? Yeah. Right, so she'll like show him, but it'll be maybe not what exactly she wants to show him, like show eventually, like this will be a whole starting thing, right? Yes, it's a whole game plan on yeah. gaining experience and, yeah, and this bringing is... along something that has more potential than what we need at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, that sounds perfect. Like this is an adventure, uh, an experience, and that is what we're giving her. Like, yeah, yeah. okay, awesome. The girls are in the warm room warming up. We haven't even started riding yet. They're in the warm room. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you have mitts? You guys want mitts? I have gloves. Oh no, my, my hands got warm. Cold. Your hands are warm? And if they do get cold, I can get close to All right. <laughs> so, Sophie's having a problem right now where her feet, well, you guys know she's had it all along. I have the same problem too. Um, where her feet slide through the stirrups and so she's not keeping her feet in the right position in her stirrup Are and you so, just gonna take the stirrups off? No, Brandon said put them in your put your feet in there. Yeah, but that's not safe Well, as long as you don't put them too far in. Yeah, these are not safe to ride in. Well, anyways He wants us to build up like a block so that she can't put her feet too far in the stirrup And he's saying that these boots will help with that because she can't put her feet in the Come stirrups on, so we're gonna see what what happens. How was your ride? Your no stirrups ride? Good. You think my legs got sore? Your legs got sore. And it's like my legs are sore too. All right, Gabby, how do you feel? The same? I know nothing really has changed. So Gabby was not super emotional, <laughs> but I knew she wasn't gonna be. Yeah, and we should have told her to take the mask off, but. 
you know, whatever. You are who you are. And she always says she's awkward. And you know what? If you're awkward, own it. Apparently, that was a big workout for Finny, and he likes to roll in the sunset. That was a nice, good ride for him. And that was a really good ride. Look, he fixed his own blanket. It got all crooked, and then he just like... Yeah, good, good boy. So even though we try to keep it like completely private and completely secret, Gabby guessed. But I knew she was going to. And the thing about Gabby is that she is awkward. She doesn't like surprises. She can't like show emotion naturally on camera. And she holds a lot of emotion to herself. That's who she is. That's her personality. And I love her for who she is. That also comes with a flip side. She might not be great for making big excitement on YouTube, but she is my go-to girl when I need help with something that needs patience and, and she takes her time and she can figure things out and she's smart in a way that I'm not smart and it all goes hand in hand. And I believe we should sub celebrate who we are as people. And I celebrate Gabby even though she didn't get excited. But she is excited. I know she is inside. She always tells me that she doesn't know what to say. Even when people give her gifts, she doesn't know what to say. So maybe we should have done it somehow more Gabby style. Which I don't know what that is because I'm not Gabby style. <laughs> So basically he's yours now, Gabby, and if you still love him in six months, he's yours forever, okay? So you can think of him like he's yours and love him like he's yours. I've had a leash horse before. Yeah. She said, we've had a leash horse before. It's hard to say goodbye though, but I've dreamed this boy in our house. He's like, oh, I don't want to go back. Black cow. It's a black cow. Uh oh, that's right. Anyway, this guy is such a big, goofy horse. He's just a sweet boy. So, Gabby, we can put him in the field with our horses if we want. Yeah, she said maybe later. Winter is not like a time to be messing around with horse paddocks, we feel like. And don't hit, don't hit your head. Aw, he ducked. <laughs> oh, we could put him in with our horses to make him feel more like ours. Or we could, we will we'll do that like we want to do that when it gets closer to show season because also she can buy whatever she wants for him if she wants to buy him a new halter, but she loves the one that he has. We can put him in the horse field with our horses. They kind of can join anyway. And we will do that when it gets closer to show season. But right now when it's winter and it's really hard yeah. to, we don't want them like running and stuff. This is a nice paddock back here. Bye Finny. He doesn't even know his life just changed. So like I said, comment your questions below. Gabby is completely grateful and she's happy. And it's just hard for some people to show it. So I just don't feel emotions when it's surprises. Also, I was not surprised because I already knew. How did you know though? Well, you always, for one, whenever you buy something, you make it a surprise. Yeah. So that makes me immune to surprises. Yeah. So also my detective skills are beyond your IQ. <laughs> Her detective skills are beyond my IQ. Do we have to close the top one? No. Alright. So anyways. She can buy what she wants for him if she wants to buy something. But also, for... when was the last time you rode with a group? When's the last time I rode with a what? We rode with a group when you were there Friday, was it? Yeah. You and Brandon were talking secrety, secretive. I don't think that we were though. Yeah, you were. The way you were acting was suspicious too. I was like, oh, they're probably getting a horse for me. She's so, she's so YouTubed. Like on YouTube, I feel like everything is a surprise. But you know, the only horse that wasn't a surprise is Chino, she said. Bye handsome. Also, I just want to point out that sometimes on YouTube, I feel like a lot of people act and script videos and that's fine because there are a lot of channels like that, but this is our real life and this is 
who Gabby is. It's who we are. It's I'm not going to force her to act in a way that isn't her just to make a better video, if that makes sense. I want her to have her own childhood and I won't take that and I can't take that away from her by expecting her to be somebody that she's not because I believe it, you guys. Be who you are always. Don't you know that you're beautiful?